All right, this one's gonna be on Keep Pass X. It's a password manager. Uh, it works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So I talked about this like two or three years ago, but this is actually this cool feature that I didn't know about. It's called um, Auto Type, and makes it really convenient to log into different uh, websites or even like local uh, applications too. If you if you have password for your applications, right? Anyways, um, there's a manual way to do it, and there's an automatic way to do it. So I'll show you both here. Um, let's open the uh, Keep Pass X here, and let me log in. All right, so I have these two demos here, um, entries. So these are basically uh, logging to my YouTube accounts. All right, so you have your username, password, and all this stuff. Um, now the way that you will perform a um, manual auto type is let's go to well, let's get out of this here. Let's go sign in. So now let me log out first. Sign in. All right, you sign in here, right? Let me delete this here though. So you sign in, all right? Um, what you want to do is click on the first username field here and you go back into your accounts and you can select you know multiple if you have like different youtube accounts you can select whatever one you want so let's say for example i select this one all you gotta do now is uh right click on here and it says perform auto type or you can hit Control v but make sure you select on the ones that you want all right and then you go perform auto type and it'll automatically do it for you so that's a good, a good convenience like if someone's watching behind your back and they want to get your password or whatever um, they're not gonna see that shit, all right. So let's log out of this here. So that's the manual way to uh, do auto type. Um, another way to do it is globally. So I'll show you that right here in a minute. So you go to extras and go to settings and go to advanced it, and you want to set your global auto type uh, shortcut here. So whatever combo you want, you know I have mine like uh, what was it Alt Windows and P, right? And make sure this one is checked it too. Uh, this will match the window. Basically, it will look at this uh, title up top here. It says YouTube Chromium here. That's what it's going to look at, right? So you hit OK. Now, in here in our entry, there's a few ways that will match the title. Um, one right here is on the title. So if this thing actually says YouTube up here, then your global hotkey will work because it'll, this YouTube part will match this part up here. Um, but most of us, we're not going to title our name, you know, YouTube. It doesn't make any sense because we have like multiple accounts or whatever. Then we want to, um, you know, have a, a name that we recognize, which I had before. But you can still do the matching though using these tools at the bottom here. And right here we have this um, select target window. And when you do this, it will actually look at um, whatever application is um, open. And right now, if you select the list, we have this YouTube Chromium here, right? You hit OK. Now, if you don't want to like match everything exactly, like this Chromium part, it's kind of stupid because you might use Firefox or you might use Opera, or whatever it is, right? So you can get rid of that. And just hit the was it the wild card which is the star, and it'll match it perfectly also. Okay, hit OK, and now when you save it here, so now we don't have to do this thing anymore. You know, Control V or uh, or manually you know right clicking on here. We just go to the site right here, this site, and hit our global hotkey which is Alt Windows and P, and it'll perform the password thing. Really convenient. Now you want to do that just for one account, you know, your main account that you do it. If you have like multiple YouTube accounts, you don't want to do that shit, right? Because it's just, it's just going to uh, use the first one in the list. So if I have it on here also, it's not going to work because uh, it's just going to look at this one first because it's the first in the entry. Um, other things you can do, let's sign out of here. Um, since this is a, um, you know, this YouTube account that is connected to your Gmail, in Gmail you can work with um, like G Drive and Google Reader and all this other crap. So if you want to like uh, 
use the same entry like a single entry but work with different uh, websites or whatever it is here view example let's say I want to log into my G Drive and go sign in you basically do the same shit you know let me delete this part here All right do the same shit you go tools select uh, target windows here and you have the G Drive here right Hit OK you can get rid of that sucker in the back and put replace it with a star for wildcard and you hit OK and we save it and right now we can perform the auto type also so alt windows and p is my global hotkey and there you go it signs in uh... real convenient that way so that's pretty much it for the auto type other stuff i'll probably recommend is um, go to settings here for security uh, depending if you have like a laptop or something you want to reduce your time um, like uh, for example your clipboard you probably want like 10 seconds or something lock your workspace when you minimize the application and lock database after 60 seconds I'll probably say 20 seconds or 10 seconds since we have everything set up with our global uh, auto type hotkey it's not going to take you more than 10 seconds to um, you know uh, log into your account because you have everything set up already but um, probably say under a minute just to be safe anything over that is just too much all right uh, so that's be it for the settings for security all right so apply it and hit okay other things you can do besides the matching windows uh, the target windows here you can actually do a custom sequence and this custom sequence is basically some sites let me give you an example like right now if you would you know you, you would do this you type in whatever it is um, you know for your username you have to hit tab right the next one and then you hit enter and basically that's what it does here username tab password and enter now some sites they, they uh, have some other fucking fields in between this I think like Yahoo or some shit like that they had like a field between this um, then you want to add like another tab in it or something like that all right to bypass it so that's like a macro kind of way so you know it'll just use your name tab password enter so if you want to do that for some sites that does that um, that's how you would fix it anyways that'll be it for this one with auto type for keep pass x good thing about this like I said it works on all your systems so you have Windows Mac or Linux it'll work that'll be it for this one